Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red with silver, official weight, 130 pounds. His professional career, 63 victories, including 42 knockouts against five defeats. Damas y Caballeros de Ciudad de México, the three-time champion of the world, the baby face assassin, Marco Antonio. And fighting out of the red corner, wearing red with flames. Official weight, 130 pounds. His professional record, 44 victories, including 34 knockouts. Three defeats, two belts even. From General Santos City, the fighting pride of the Philippines, the defending WBC international champion and two-time world champion, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao! Okay, gentlemen, Caballeros. You already received your instructions. Usted recibió instrucciones. Okay, right here is good. In the blast can be low. Mira, aquí está bien, aquí no. Right here is good. In the blast can be low. Aquí está bien, aquí no. I want a good, clean fight. You can do when I play Olympia. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourselves at all times. Escucha, mate. Cuídate. Listo? Ready? Let's go. Vámonos. Tony Weeks, final instructions. The theme for Marco Antonio Barrera is remember the Alamo Dome. He's waited four years for this rematch. And Manny Pacquiao shocked the world and scored a TKO in the 11th round in San Antonio. Nothing quite like these final few seconds of tension before a major title fight. And there goes the bell. Here we are, gentlemen. Both fighters in red trunks tonight. As Rich mentioned earlier, Eerie how the circumstances are now flip flop, but will the results be the same? Remains to be seen. Manny Pacquiao, a southpaw, of course. We are doing a good job of the body and going to the head. First surprise is that Pacquiao has not come out to try to overwhelm Barrera in the opening seconds. I was just about to say that. I uh, am very surprised by that. He looks a little dry. Might take a round or two for Manny to really warm up, but we know what that uh, what happens there with the Andrade fight earlier. Can always get caught. Barrera, it looks like, will try to fight a patient fight. Attempt to box, attempt to turn Pacquiao when he can. Throw some angles at him. You know the storm is going to be coming at some point to be ready for it. But this is the pace I think Barrera would love. Oh, Barrera would love this pace, and this is where he's gotten a legitimate shot to try to counter punch and outbox. I'm sure Freddie Roach is gonna have a, a difference of opinion, and Pacquiao does a great job of listening to the game plan in the corner. By the way, the odds on this fight steadily rose this last week in Las Vegas. They opened at plus 260, so about two and a half to one in favor of Pacquiao. By fight time today, they were three minus 360, over three and a half to one in favor of Pacquiao. Well, there's a lot of influx from the islands, too, coming here to bet on their guy late in the week. Showing good hand speed early. Good upper body movement too, side to side with his uh, uh, bending at the waist. And when you see that burst from Pacquiao, which you know is coming. That's where he gets there he is. There he's on top of Up on his toes. Really doing a good job giving lateral. 
And now he seems to have been a little awakened. And now he woke up a little bit here. Crowd is intense. One of the loudest crowds I've ever heard. Wait till they start exchanging. <laughs> That's just the first round. And the one thing that we didn't expect to feel out first round. Yeah, I thought Manny would come right across and take a turn, but you gotta have a lot of respect for Marco Antonio Guerrero. Anybody should. He's one of the greatest ever. And a nice feel out first round for both gentlemen. Have a feeling it's gonna be different. Mantelo yeah. así con tu ya, con tu ya del agua. Uno cero, uno cero. Ya mueve, no te le quedes parado, no te le quedes parado, no quiero que te le quedes parado. Aquí, aquí, aquí. Estás haciendo bien las cosas. Cuidado con su cabeza. Le metiste un gancho abajo, le dolió, le dolió duro. Quiero que sigas insistiendo ahí. Déjalo ver. 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 A little busy with the jab, okay? And the feints are working good, okay? Yeah. Now you see how he's reaching for the feints, yeah. right? Open him up with the feints, you hear me? Okay. Was a little more cautious than many expected. That was Pacquiao's one little flurry of the, of the round. The round was fought at a, I guess you'd call it a leisurely pace. Well, it was certainly Guerrero's pace. Round two. Freddie Roach asking Manny to keep up the feints, getting him to drop his hands. Had a little success with that. Pacquiao already starting off a little busier. Yeah, he's putting the pressure on as much as he can right now. To Manny, doesn't have but really one speed. Big left hand for Manny. They've been working on Manny's right hand a lot in camp. What he's been saying to get it to as uh, as effective as his left hand, which wow, would be incredible. And the crowd, you can hear the crowd, which inspires uh, Guerrero as well. That's a good counter from Guerrero. And he's That's looking the to yep. he's Watching his right leg, which is what he what he hinted at in that Hamed fight when he would, he would drag it back and, and, and lure Hamed into mistakes, and he and he would almost invariably cash in on those mistakes of Hamed. To wonder what it must be like for, for Manny Pacquiao to be so beloved and almost godlike in his country, have to carry that weight of all those people every time he steps into the ring. Guerrero's a great champion in Mexico, but there's many, many, many great fighters from Mexico that have gone through the years. And he's just a long list of the next ones in line, but Manny is something special in the Philippines. And uh, he has actually risen the whole level of boxing in the Philippines to where more people are getting involved, more kids are getting involved, and other champions are coming up. And there's a lot of talented fighters over there. We've seen one tonight. They they almost pitched a shutout the Philippines versus Mexico uh, World Cup. Still fighting a little more cautious than we're actually used to seeing him. Yeah, I think he's a little more cautious. I think Guerrero's got the pace he wants so far, which he's talking about. Yeah, very good, good yeah, right hands on the top. Yeah. Man, he shakes him off. Guerrero's got the pace he wants. Guerrero's very calm, very relaxed, not bothered by the, the screams and the yells from Manny. He's letting him come in, Rich, like you said. Look at the counter. Look at that upper body movement from Barrera. Yeah, he doesn't want him to get, so don't stand in front of this guy. He'll blow you out. Keep circling to his left, keep circling. He looks like he took a page out of the first uh, Marquez fight. Try to stay away from that left hand. Go to the left. Look at him go to the left. Back out just missing. Final seconds, round two. Kind of going wild, but I think Barrera won that round. I think so, too. But Pacquiao may have won the last 15 seconds, but I thought the Leo won the round. Después de trabajo, sigue tratando de pegarle abajo, ¿ok? Minawa, Minawa, ¿ok? ¿ok? Mentena, mentena, mentena. Arms down. ¿ok? Relax, ah, relax, ¿ok? Arms down. 
Let's take a look at the action. In round number two, there's that good left hand from Barrera, knocked to Pacquiao off balance with it and followed it right up with a jab. Nice counters by Barrera. Three right hooks. He's doing a good job with the jab going to his left all night. Going into the third round, it could easily be Barrera two rounds to Pacquiao's. Well, I've given uh, Barrera both of the first two rounds. I've looked around ringside. Some of the other riders here have given uh, Pacquiao the first round. I've got Barrera with the first two rounds as well. Well, three schedule tough. Pacquiao pressed up the tack a little bit. Barrera's obvious game plan is to keep good upper body movement, stay away from the big left hand, don't make a mistake, and counter punch. Just drag that bat leg behind him. Yep. Bring Pacquiao in and try to meet him with something on the way in. Oh, and if Barrera is able to pull off the upset, the conspiracies will arise. A lot of a great shot by Barrera. A lot of thought going in about Roach going over the Philippines, and it seemed to be an ego thing for Pacquiao because Roach went to Puerto Rico for De La Hoya with his fight against Mayweather. But the distractions were not even comparable to the two fighters. Barrera's hand speed is excellent. I can still remember broadcasting Barrera's first title fight. It was in Anaheim, California against Daniel Jimenez, which he won. That was 1995, guys. Wow. 1995, he won the world championship. And here he is in this fight tonight, still fighting at this kind of level. It's unbelievable. He's a true legend. And so, oh, 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 big oh, shot oh, by Barrera. Oh, 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 yeah, saying that didn't hurt. That usually means it did. Yeah, he lied. <laughs> wow. Barrera, as right, so the punches downstairs a little bit, Tony Lee's going to step in. Barrera's going to frustrate him if he can. you got to remember the technician and the ring general that Marco Antonio Barrera's been over the years. If he's had the brawl, he can brawl it. He has to box. He boxes. He knows what he wants to do, and he's very, very methodical about it. Could be a matter of just Manny Pacquiao's too good before the night's all said and done. But so far, he's been frustrated. Now Manny's talking to Marco. I don't know what he said. Well, he came out from the very beginning, though, from the opening seconds with a strangely hesitant style stop, tonight, stop, stop, stop. which I'm very unaccustomed to seeing him fight. And it doesn't go well for him. Pacquiao's effective when he overwhelms you with his punches, when he when he uses his speed to take advantage of you, and when he just hits you so many times so hard, it takes it totally out of your game plan, and he's trying to turn it into a chess match with Barrera, and Barrera is uh, winning that match at the moment. Just the movement, Barrera's movement. A little right hand got in, but not very effective. Whoops. You see him change his stroke a bit, yeah. swing there. <laughs> Barrera went up and then went down. Barrera yeah, looking really good on his toes, very effective with his jab. Marco's getting a little bold here now. Yeah. Well, take, a, take a look at him, he's getting a little confident. This corner is throwing so much water in the ring. We're going to have a Remember, keep stepping to your right, all right? Don't follow him, Yeah. all right? Okay. Don't follow him. Cut that ring off from him, okay? With some of the action. It was very good action in that round. And uh, once again, Barrera had a very good round. He landed what I thought were his first significant punches that really had some meaty kind of power behind them. You know, um, just seeing uh, Manny Pacquiao in the corner and being familiar with his fights, he's, he's doing the sign of the cross a lot more than, uh, more than usual as well. <laughs> Freddie, good advice, tell him don't follow him because that's what Marco wants you to do. He said, keep going, there you go, go to your right. Force him back the other way. That's more what 
what he wants him to do. Now Pacquiao wants to pick it up. You can see yeah. it right now. Look at him. Look at the look in his face. And look, he's coming faster. Yeah. He's coming much faster, and he's starting to punch faster. That's what he needs to do. Look for Pacquiao to try to bring it right now. Because he needs a different tempo in this fight. And yet, I don't know if he's noticed, but yet another sign of the cross. So. I noticed that, but is Barrera going to let him do it? Well, at least it's during the fight. Unlike when Frank Bruno fought Mike Tyson and he signed himself about 20 times before the fight. As he was coming down the aisle, doing the introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Back up, getting a little spring on that step. Looks like he's going to let his hands go a little bit more. That's his style. A little more popular. He just caught him to the left. Nice left hand. Yeah, answering. Well, the world's getting into it with him. He's doing what Pacquiao wants him to do. I'm not going to fight him, too. Oh, yeah. I'm he's not going to sit there and box all night. Oh, no. Barrera definitely a slug. And when you catch him, he's one to answer quickly. to have such a, a strong air of confidence about it because it's hard to tell with him. He's always the same. After that third round coming out, he seemed to be emboldened a little bit. And man, he's trying to step on the accelerator. Problem is, the world's defense has been exceptional. And his movement's been great. His defense has been exceptional. That, and that was a good example of it right there. Very slick. Timing, man, he punches just right. Pacquiao is beginning, though, to find Barrera in this round, where he's really having trouble finding him in the first three rounds. But, again, the higher volume of punches are going to lead to some success for him. And it's to Manny's advantage to turn it into a slugfest. No, 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 Guerrero backing Manny up a little bit. He was the referee in the, what many of us feel is the greatest fight ever, uh, Diego Corrales and Jose Luis Castillo. And Weeks uh, had to deal with all of that that was going on that night. That one we'll never forget. That was the year of the great fight. <laughs> There's Jakey, Manny Pacquiao's wife. That is not his wife. No, the, right that, that is not his wife. The, <laughs> the, uh, but she is also cute. Yes. <laughs> but not his wife. Rudy Perez no longer with Marco Antonio Barrera has been there from the beginning with him. 25 years. His brother is now the chief trainer, Jorge Barrera. Who also was a pro boxer. Round five to 12 rounds ripping by in this fight. Marco Antonio Barrera keep up the pace with all the rounds he has in his career. Continue to use the movement, continue to stay away from harm while countering Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao really started to turn it on in the last round, Alan. I'm sorry, but he, he, he needs to keep it up and even take it up yet another notch. Well, that's what he's got to do and what he's doing right here. Stop, stop. Nice body shot by Pacquiao. Oh. Stop. That sounded pretty solid. Yeah, man, he's putting power into his shots yeah. now. Up a cut. Here that good left hand work from the left. Wow. Barrera is one of the best that, after taking a shot, responding quickly and being effective with the shot himself. Certainly one of the all-time greats. Did a good job picking up Manny's punches with the gloves, too. And a nice left hook, and Manny felt it. Manny actually nodded in acknowledgement to him. Yeah. Anytime you see Manny hit his gloves together, you know he got caught, and he commends the guy for, getting, for uh, catching him with a good shot. Oh, 
it's not like we haven't seen the Pac-Man on the canvas before, guys. So he can do things and leave himself open. It's been a cleanly fought fight. There was some... Oh, good oh. right hand from Manny. He's trying to do his oh, thing. Good, good, good answer for Barrera. Good answer for Barrera. Now they're getting it on. Barrera trying to put more open spots. Manny oh. kind of got caught with a left right there. And just like I was telling you earlier, Allen is the best at coming back right after getting caught. And I think he got the better of that exchange. It gets, him, it gets him mad, like... Yeah, get does. Get you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wow. He's a little bust, but, but when he's pressed into it, he's going to he's going to revert to what he was in his early days. That's right. The warrior comes out. But Michael Antonio Barrera is a guy who's been able to reinvent himself successfully on a couple of occasions in his career. That big left hook had landed, Manny would have certainly been staggered. This is what Manny wants. Barrera's giving it to him. Good counter punch to Barrera. Manny trying to impose his will. Good hand speed. Pacquiao getting into a good exchange on the balls of his feet. In and out, darting. And Manny's getting into it. Barrera can't say. Wow. Is this fun or what? Great round. Tough round to score. No quiero que me le cambies golpes ahorita. Ahorita vamos a seguir trabajando con el ya, con el ya moviendo. Todavía no, Marco. Todavía no, Marco. Todavía no, Marco. Todavía no, Marco. 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 Taking a look at the action from the round. Pacquiao landed the big shot and then Barrera came firing right back. And at a couple of times, each, each guy seemed to be a little bit dinged, I thought, by the other. That was to the top of the head, which can make you a little bit dizzy when you get up there, hit up there. Take us out. Let's go, Rick. Okay, fasten your seat belts, folks. <laughs> that was fun. We got another <laughs> round coming. Both fighters are awake, both are alert. Round six. I'll tell you what, the speed is a. Uh from both fighters. I, mean, I don't think Marco slowed down that much. You've seen him more than I have, Rich, over the years, but his hand speed tonight's excellent. Yeah, he looks like he's completely ready for this fight. Well prepared. He's got a great game plan. I've got him winning, gentlemen, I gotta tell you. Again, I'm checking around ringside to see some of the other scores. They had Pacquiao in front. So, who knows? The first couple of rounds, of course, not much was going on, so they were very close. Could have gone either way. Could have gone either way. Well, you know, I really couldn't give a, a house fighter status to either guy. No. It's just it doesn't exist in this fight. Well, you can't because the crowd is evenly split. You've got one promoter. Bob Aaron promotes Pacquiao, one promoter. Oscar De La Hoya promotes the Barrera. Oh, good combination for Manny. He's got Barrera in the corner. Barrera's a little bit teed off about it right now, but he got caught over there. And he did not fire back that time, Barrera, the way that he had earlier. No, he did not. He was in the corner, and he, he answered back with a nice shot right at the belt line, <laughs> but not with the flurry that he has in the earlier rounds. I know his corner tagged Barrera not to engage, or, you know, but you have to, because Manny's not, <laughs> Manny's going to be in your face all night. Yeah, he, what are you going to do? He gives you no choice. No choice. I mean, you can run, I guess, but <laughs> you cannot hide. Barrera still has a nice, sharp, clean jab. I tell you what, I'm impressed more and more with Pac-Man's, uh, Deep defense he's developed under Freddy. I know he's worked that right hand a lot, but he's picking off a lot of punches, hands in good position. Good head movement. Good, good head, head movement. Out. And that speed, that speed of hand, let me tell you, that may not be something Freddy Roach. Oh, oh right hand for Barrera. Right right. Counter by Barrera. Wow. That got that is intentionally on they go. That was a perfectly timed right counter, and Manny answers with a flurry of punches, and that came from nowhere. This one was a nice low. 
Now here comes Pacquiao back. Pacquiao going to the right hand there. Good left hand gets in for Pacquiao. The speed to the body. It's deafening in here. Oh, he gets caught coming in from Barrera. Barrera sticking to the game plan, going back to his jab. Not looking like a three to one underdog, guys. No. Wow. Biggest punch of the round was that right hand. And that sent Manny off. Can you believe this one's halfway finished, scheduled for 12? Wow, it's flying by. Okay. Seventh round coming up. Seventh round. Seventh round. Seventh round. Seventh round. Okay. Seventh round. Okay. When you're circling to the right, you can control him at all times. Very good. Okay. He's got control. The things are working beautiful. All right, early in the round, Pacquiao came out, and again, the high volume of punches. He got through Barrera's defenses there, straight through, but then Barrera Ooh. answered back with the single right best hand. shot of the round. And Pacquiao coming back in a flurry. I got to tell you, going into the sixth, I still have it 58-56, Barrera, four rounds to two. Rich, I have, it, I have it even 57-56. Very close rounds could go either way. Round seven. What a fight. It's what people pay to see, these two great champions. This is not in the least going to disappoint anybody by the time this thing's finished. Now, once again, Manny out a little bit cautious. Trying to work that jab. But he, his best advantage is his pace. Does he seem frustrated when he slaps his gloves together like that? Yeah, he'll usually do that when he gets caught. He gets a little frustrated. He's trying to fire himself out. But Burr's done a great job of circling to his left, giving him a lot of angles, great lateral movement, timing that jab perfectly, countering at times with that hard right. So he's a, he's a tough out. Pacquiao may still go on to stop Marco, Burr, Marco Antonio Barrera in this fight, but I'll tell you, by this time in the first fight, he was slaughtering Marco oh, Antonio Barrera. Yes, huge difference. Well, you know, no one in, in all their first fights, Morales, Barrera, Marquez, no, they underestimated Pacquiao's power. They, they thought, oh, well, you know, he can't hit that hard, but turned out he was on a little Mike Tyson. A very defensive round for Barrera here, and mainly because Manny hasn't given him a lot to counter. There we go. Beautiful combination. Great combination speed for Pacquiao. That was it, speed on that. Yep. Exactly right, Alan. That's what made it happen. And he has it. I mean, it's a. Uh, he can go to it pretty much any time he wants to, but he's very, very respectful of Marco Antonio Barrera. As well he should be. Lead left for Pacquiao. Good head movement by Pacquiao. Showing each other a lot of respect. Both have been caught with some hard counter punches. I don't, I don't know that Manny has shown his usual amount of confidence in, in this fight. He, he, he just looks a little off, doesn't he? Like a little different, not like his normal spark plug self. Now, granted, he's going up against a well prepared, well conditioned Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer in Barrera. Well, he's had to do a lot of running to catch. Yeah, look at the look at the ring the ring generalship he's using there. Barrera, Barrera, Barrera 10 seconds. Barrera needs more significant punches though. I thought Manny won that round, guys, but I don't have the cards. I try to get involved in this. <laughs> Coming up. Hey, I'm done. Deep breath. Okay. 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 Okay.
una ya, casa, cada año la vida. Pícalo, pícalo, Marco. Pero siente confianza, güey. Pero ya le pasa entero. Como que le quieres no ganar a este cabrón. Yo no te canso. Te vas ganando, pero ¿qué? ¿Quieres que hable más duro? Más duro. Más contundencia, Marco. Échale duro, Marco. ¿Qué pasó, Marco? Es la última, Marco. Es la última pelea, cabrón. Demuestra. Let me, go, let me go on a limb here and say we're going to see some action in this round. I thought that Bar Barrera kind of took his foot off the pedal a little in that round. Yeah, he did. He did. And he can't afford to. And, and, and we're going to step it up in this round, guys. Round eight. Round blistering by. There he is going back out, going to the body. Well, when you're dealing with Pacquiao, though, you're always dealing with a keg of dynamite. He can explode on you any time. That's right. right. He's pulling himself in the head. I, I think he, Pacquiao was just indicating he didn't like getting hit that combination from Barrera. What was that? How dare you? And he punished himself for it. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing the other guy beat you, but you're going to beat on yourself. I mean. I keep waiting for Manny to explode, guys, and just go. He's in with a different animal tonight, though. Nice shot by Barrera. Just caught him, set him one way, caught him going back the other. Pacquiao still has not gotten started in this round. And Barrera, it looked like the momentum was uh, getting away from him in the last couple of rounds, but he's had a nice round so far. He's refocused, went back to his game plan. I wonder what Eric Morales is sitting back, he's sitting back watching this fight probably, having three fights in the can with Barrera, three fights in the can with That's Pacquiao. true. <laughs> Trilogies with both. Stop. Nice combination from Manny. He's actually, I wonder, that. Actually, I wonder who Morales is rooting for. <laughs> Neither one. He's, yeah. He's never was too far to Marco Antonio. No. <laughs> He's hoping they both lose. <laughs> That's true. But you know, at least uh, Morales did a commercial with Manny. He never did one with Marco. It was always bad luck between those kids. And it was, it was obvious. Nice was little it. jab. I mean, left hand from Manny, not a jab, but southpaw. But stop, stop. This is an interesting round with Marco maybe stealing, guys. I think so far. Just enough. Look yeah. At that. Just, just enough. Jab. You know. There we go. And you know, for the most part, Alan, I have that. I have it that way for the fight. He's sort of stealing the round, sort of stealing the fight. He got him by one round so far. That's good effective right hand for Manny. Manny's having trouble finding it. And he's and, and Marco obviously trained to fight this type of fight. It's like NASCAR in there. They must have gone around the ring a couple okay. hundred times. Well, all I know is it's, it, 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 Marco's doing just as many left hand turns. Yes. Because he keeps moving left. In that round, Pacquiao was a little bit hesitant, and he let Barrera at times steal the uh, thunder from him. But Manny did have his moments, as he does in every round, really. Take his right hand away from me. He can't reach with it. I haven't noticed him crossing himself as much as he's done this fight. Do you think he's got some doubts? I think you know I, very I, well, Mario. I, I, I've noticed that as well, as I pointed out earlier. And I think since I've mentioned it, he's done it about four or five more times. He did it in the corner, then coming out of the corner. We're in round nine. Pacquiao might be a little confused. He's just got to go to what he does best, and that's fight. Not the fight I expected from Manny Pacquiao thus far. 
especially considering the success he had against him in the first round. You figure just he'd have a psychological edge and he'd try to come out and, and test his will. Missing works again. Guerrero continues the good head movement. I mean, he, he is just that is textbook head movement. Well, Pacquiao may be winning this fight, but he has not been this overwhelming monolith that we've actually come to expect from him in every fight. Good combination there from Pacquiao. Once he gets a chance, if Guerrero is still in front of him, he, he can get it done. go in it. I'm not going to speculate, but I'll tell you this much. If it does become a close victory and not what we expected from Manny, I think he might we might learn some lessons about his training camp that he might not want to do again. Uh, exactly. I think it'll be the last time we'll see training camp up in uh, the Philippines. <laughs> Marco's got his pride, and he's not going to back down. Oh, he gets that look and that clinch jaw, and he's coming back. Good left hand upstairs from Guerrero. Manny counters. Another left hand from Manny Pacquiao. There are probably many times when Barrera wants to revert to his old style. Right. And he probably has to stop himself and, and get back to boxing. Yeah, because you have to, no matter what, you have to respect the power of Manny Pacquiao. Man, he's getting hit with some hand speed he might not have expected from Barrera tonight. That is the one surprise how he's not so frustrated. sharp and close. Kind of frustrated. Oh, good right hand from Manny Pacquiao. That's the power. And then Barrera always answers. There he goes answering again, going back to the jab. Pacquiao having a good round there. Barrera always trying to end it big, steal the rounds at the last 10 seconds. see some of his work in the last round. I thought he dinged Marco a little in that last round on one, uh, one occasion. Still not overwhelming, but he was throwing flurries. I have Pacquiao winning that round. Seven, seven. Having five rounds to four. fight and a very tough fight to score. We had a couple of those tonight, guys. Well, when you get down to these final rounds, then you find out about the turn again. One man, Juan Marquez, is in the audience tonight. Another great uh, champion from Mexico who has fought each of these men in pitched battles. Both of them were fantastic fights against Pacquiao Stop. and against Barrera. He beat Barrera, had a draw with Pacquiao. And Marquez has his own fight with Rocky Juarez coming up soon, but assuming he is victorious in that, we probably will see Marquez against the winner of this fight here tonight, early next year. And if it's Pacquiao, I gotta tell you, I think he feels a little confident about his, uh, his chances in that fight. Well, judging what he's seeing tonight, also. I think Manny has a healthy respect for the counter punching of Barrera. He really does. Maybe a little that's, too that's much, though. That's Barrera's credit, though. You know, he's always.
his answer in his career. So you don't believe, Rich, that if uh, Barrera won this fight, he's going to retire? Um, I think then if, he, if Barrera were to win this fight, he, I think he would look for Marquez. <laughs> Too much money involved, right? And a little chance for revenge. And, and you know, it's not like he's he's really, I mean, it's a good fight, but it's not like he's in a war, he's suffering a lot of punishment. No, he's fought a smart fight. He's fought a very, fought a very smart fight. Listen, if he's, if he's not the fighter he once was, he's not far from the fighter that he once was. Right. Nice combination by Barrera. That was a nice combination. And Manny's trying to come in and close the gap now, but Guerrero keeps going to his left, keeps staying away from that power hand. Now he's going back to his right, which, which Manny wants him to do. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> this fight's been pretty clean so far. The crowd didn't like that, the tactic from Barrera. No, he thought that man, he hit him a little late, and he's quick to answer. <laughs> he's never, he, Burrow's not one to let anything slide. Oh, no, I've seen him in some brutal fights. Yeah. Uh, some of the stuff he did with Hamed was, uh, yes. especially the smash of the face under the turnbuckle. The last you mean the full Nelson? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this fight is Freddie has a lot of confidence in Pacquiao's ability. So the fight's way too close. It is close. Rich, speaking of close, who'd you give that last round to? I gave that to Barrera that last round. Stop. See, I, 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 it could have gone either way. I went with Pacquiao. How do you have it? I have Pacquiao in front. I've got it 95 95. Well, they won. I want Barrera to start throwing a little more. I think it would behoove him, and it's such a close fight, to give it all he's got these last two rounds, if it makes it two rounds, and take the fight if you can. And Manny, Manny's definitely got to step it up. You would think these championship rounds would be Pacquiao rounds. He's the younger man. He's at his absolute peak in his career right now. Barrera. Said to be on the downside, advanced in years in so many wars. But sometimes the obvious scenario doesn't always play out. Well, the experience factor, as I'm earning more and more respect, as if I needed more respect for Barrera. You know, the wars that he went through in his career, you, you learn so much from him. And what he survived. There comes Manny, there's the speed. This is what Manny up. needs. He's getting frustrated. He needs to get up on those toes. Barrera will counter it. And you know, Manny's just got to go in there and take the fight. If he's going to win it. Remaining calm. Well, his punch has actually missed Barrera Manage, but he's not going to miss all of them. Barrera digging in now, coming out, but he's facing a hornet's nest when you get in there against Pacquiao. Pacquiao letting it all hang out loose finally in the last round. That hurt Pacquiao. Oh, oh. Pacquiao, man, he's out of it. Handy, man, he's out on his feet. Come back, come back, come back. Come here, come over here. Doctor, 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 doctor. I don't think there was anything in 
potentially dirty. Tony Weeks wants the doctor in right now. Pacquiao's out of it. I got one point. Oh, a big I got one point for, 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 for a foul. Okay, one point. Uh, one point to Dustin that, taking that. That was that was close was for head but. Guys, to guys. To be honest with you, that was with the momentum, yeah. and that's a Marcos. bad cut under Marco's eye. Yeah. Bad cut. That blood's one just going to spike back there. One point over here. One point over here. Come on, look at him. Yeah. Play Olympia. Play Olympia. Okay. Here we go. Play Olympia. Let's go. He's asking for a clean fight. Clean fight. And is this going to inspire Manny? Manny's got a look of determination. Well, he might be hurt. Rich, he was wobbly. He was very wobbly. And Barrera's time to step on the gas right now right, and see Barrera's, what he's got left. Barrera's nose is cut. Listen, a headbutt can really take a lot out of you. And uh, Pacquiao was obviously terribly dizzy. Had to bring the referee over. Interesting round. Cobweb seed will be cleared for Manny. Guerrero's eye got it. has got to be bothering him. Oh, it's a hell bad hell cut. Round. That is a terrible cut. And he's lost a point and maybe lost a fight. Oh, oh, no, 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 and that no, no, no. was such a close round leading up to that. A close fight, I should say, leading up to that round. It's a real good fight. Come on, he's tired. He's very tired. Come on, 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 Advantage. Let's take a look at it now. Pacquiao coming in, landing that left hand. It's a beautiful shot. Barrera trying to answer back, but staggered by that left. Now watch on the break. Right hand by Barrera on the break. Perfect example of protect yourself at all times. <laughs> We're in the final round. Who will prevail? The old warrior or the young dynamo? It could come down to this round. We just don't know. I think Barrera had a costly point taken away in the last round. Decision. And Barrera needs to resort to the Barrera of old and get in there and make it a little bit more of a select this. See if there's still some effects from when he hurt stop, stop. Manny from coming out of the clinch. I really believe so because that point deduction is going to hurt him the scorecards. Wow, Pacquiao had never been in a worse way than he was after that. Ever. Stop, stop. It was kind of a funny looking punch, guys, off the break. And it really stunned him. Came from out of the clouds. Out of the clouds, right. I think they're going to know about one minute and a half to one minute they're going to start going at it. Unless Barrera thinks that he's done enough, which I can't imagine he does think that. He's done a good job and fought very, very well tonight. So as far as him having another great fight in him, I, I think he definitely had the great fight. Slip, a slip. Both landing hard jabs. Coming up on one minute left in this 12 rounder, who will prevail? I think Pacquiao's different, or he's frustrated. Pacquiao still wants to fight, waving Marcus, Marco Antonio in. Fight. Nice counter punching by Barrera. He got caught, but he got caught on that counter punch. Barrera's hoping for one big opening, one big opportunity to counter punch, to drop Pacquiao. And Half think, a minute left. Barrera's going to unload in the last 10 seconds. To try to steal this. Very close fight. I mean, close round to judge for it being an imperative round in the fight. Final 
10 seconds. And there it goes. What do you think, Rod? You folks watching around the world. This is a tough fight to call, gentlemen. All I know is either way is probably going to be controversial. Oh, man. Either way, guys, I think it's going to be controversial. Either way, possibly a draw leaning towards Barrera. You can't go wrong. Back up a tough, tough fight to call. Mario, you know Manny Pacquiao as well as anybody. Do you sense, do you sense that something was off tonight a little bit? Yeah, you know, I, I did. Ever since the first round, he didn't look, he, uh, Pacquiao did not look himself. He only showed flashes of himself. He did the sign of the cross more times than I've ever seen him. He punched his gloves more times than I've ever seen him. It was a little off, but not to discredit uh, Marco Antonio Barrera, because I thought he did a good job and executed his game plan well. All right, I know you got to run, Mario. Uh, Rich, your I thought, thoughts? Well, I thought I thought that Barrera came in here with a definite plan on how he wanted to fight. And I think he was able, for the most part, to carry out that game plan. But that doesn't mean he won the fight. I, agree. I, th I think he, he was able to fight the way that he wanted to fight. I thought Manny Pacquiao won this fight tonight. But I thought Barrera acquitted himself quite well. I thought that Barrera fought the only fight he could really do against this guy. And, 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 and Man Manny wasn't left with a lot of options. The question is, how did the judges see it? Hearing uh, Barrera around the ring, seems to be quite happy with himself. Going 12 rounds with Manny Pacquiao. Well, he should get a ride around the ring just for the great career he's had, especially if this is the end of it. Very well could be. We will ask those questions when we get a chance. And again, that cut on Barrera's face. Wow. That's a beauty, isn't it? Really having trouble. That's going to take uh, several stitches to uh, close up. I think we need a few more people in the room. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to die of suffocation. Somewhere in there are the, are the fighters. The, this has gotten completely out of control in terms of how many people they allow into the ring. It's just ridiculous. And Mark Ratner used to keep a pretty good lid on it. Uh, uh, but this is uh, way too many. Especially when you have the more tense kind of situations and scenarios between camps when you can really have trouble. the scorecards Jerry Roth and Glenn Trowbridge 118 109 Tom Schreck 115 to 112 to the winner by unanimous decision still champion from the Philippines Manny Pacman